Jan, first of all, congrats. Thank you, thank you. Must feel uh, very good to uh, finally win again. Ah, oh, yeah, it was. And uh, away as well, even though it uh, feels like home with, with these supporters. So it was a, it was a great feeling and uh, yeah, we really needed that. Yeah, the first, uh, oh, I'm sorry, the last away win was the 11th of September last year. Um, you weren't even here. Yeah, it's uh, it's been dark times, it's been troubling times and uh, it's been tough for everyone. But uh, hopefully now we can uh, turn it around and uh, keep building. You're still here, what happened? <laughs> a lot, nothing. <laughs> It's, uh, it's difficult to explain. It's been uh, been a tough tough period uh, mentally for uh, for myself. A lot of thinking, a lot of phone calls, a lot of speculations. So, uh, but now most windows are closed. So uh, the chance of me staying is is really really big now. So uh, yeah, I'm I'm not really disappointed about it. So keep keep building. You said it was a difficult time for you mentally. What was so difficult about the situation? No, I think everyone can understand that uh, you don't know which country you're going to wake up in the next day. So obviously a lot of thinking, a lot of planning, a lot of uh, overthinking, you can say. So uh, yeah, uh, I didn't handle it too good, to be honest. So it took a lot of energy, uh, a lot of my sleep and appetite. So uh, yeah, I lost a few kilos with the stress as well. So. Uh, it's almost uh, a good feeling to get it over with, even though uh, I'm, I must be honest, I was a little disappointed it didn't go through. Uh, You're a, tra a possible transfer to Stoke City. Yeah, uh, Stoke among others, uh, but uh, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Southampton. Uh, yeah, uh, obviously, uh, but yeah, that's life, that's football. And uh, as I said before, I don't want to leave just to leave. I want to leave for something really good and this time something really good didn't come up so then I prefer to, to stay and uh, help this club back where it belongs. That sounds really tough man, I mean losing kilos over all the stress. Uh, what made it so difficult for you? you? Just an unknowing of where you would be the next day or that you really wanted to make a transfer a nice step? Yeah, uh, this of course and also f I have a lot of friends and family who's watching, who's yeah, supporters who wants the best for me and always the texting me what's up what's up every day and yeah it's, it got kind of exhausting to answer everyone and yeah with uh, everyone had so much hopes including myself to to make this transfer so felt a little bit like i was letting them down with it not happening yeah. really your family or your friends or yeah i know they don't feel it this way but it feels like this for for me uh, I, li I love my family i love my friends and yeah, I uh, I feel like I, I do this uh, football for for them, and it's a big motivation for me. Uh, but they will support me anyway, and uh, they also love this club and uh, love these fans. So uh, I'm sure sure it will be okay. Yeah, but it sounds like hell of a lot of pressure that you had to cope with in such a small time. Yeah, but that's all also a part of the job as a football player. Uh, play a good game, you're walking on water. Play a bad game, you're the worst play, player on the planet. So it's part of the job. It's it's uh, difficult at times, but also it's it's also something I love about this job. Uh, the pressure to feel the adrenaline, and uh, I wouldn't uh, wouldn't miss it for the world. So it's also something I love uh, in football. Um, the match was just over. Did you check your phone for maybe a last-minute <laughs> call from your uh, agent? Uh, yeah, I did check my phone, but not for this reason. I knew uh, when I was going here today that I won't, wouldn't leave, so uh, I was okay with it be before the game. So uh, it was. Uh, it's not like something's going to happen now. And there's still a few leagues uh, that have an open transfer window. Um, are there any leagues among them that could be a possibility for you, or are you FC Groningen a player at least until the winter stop? Uh, it's difficult to say something 100% to be honest, but uh, most likely I will stay at this club. Uh, it's some OK leagues uh, that's open, but it's not really something I really want. And something special must come, as I said before, and I don't think that will come in, in these leagues. But I won't make any promises, but uh, it really looks like I'm, I'm going to be, be staying here. Well, congrats on that. Um, the fans are very happy with that, I, uh, I'm sure. Uh, there was a little hashtag going on, Johan Mobley, if I say it correctly. Um, how much was that uh, part of your your uh, your decision to stay here? No, it definitely played a part. Uh, I got a lot of messages, a lot of uh, yeah tags on Instagram, uh, which uh, platform I'm on as well. So 
it's it's nice to feel the love and feel wanted. It's, it's for for every player, for every person, and it also makes it uh, make it a lot easier when the the transfer collapsed uh, in England. So it's yeah, it's I, I wish uh, there was a way for me to thank them on, but I'll I'll have to thank them by giving a hundred percent every time, and I will keep doing it. I think you're all right. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, man. Congrats. Cheers.